my creeps, Richard here, bringing you the horror, the terror, <laughs> and Lady Marmalade. So, um, as you've seen in the video title, I am going to make a DIY mannequin for my Frankenstein monster display. And basically the way I'm doing this is with PVC pipe. So I just got back from Lowe's and I bought two 10 foot poles of a PVC pipe. These are three quarter inch because that was the best deal. Uh, I might have wanted to go a bit thicker, maybe one inch, but at three quarter inch, that should be good enough. Um, and so basically the idea is, I've already started on part of it. This is going to be the neck where I take the mask and put that on there like that. The shoulders, I've got connector pieces that'll go here to go down as like a, a cross connector. Uh, that way it can also have the elbows coming out. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you get the idea. I'm, I'm making a frame out of PVC pipe. I will then cover with the costume for Frankenstein. Now, when doing this, because I'm using my own clothes, I have to kind of make this to my own measurements and maybe cheat a little bit with some padding and things and not use like actual Frankenstein measurements. A seven and a half foot long, 54 inch wide gorilla. So, um, like I said, so I've got the mask. Uh, I've got this undershirt, which I will then put a regular shirt over. This is a padded muscle shirt that I use for different characters where, when, when I'm performing and I have to look like I'm a little bit bigger because it's kind of hard to tell on video, but in reality, I'm a very skinny guy. So I got a padded muscle shirt that I wear when I'm out performing sometimes for certain characters to make me look a little bit beefier. And that is a total lie. I wear this under my dress shirts when I have dates. That's why I'm still single. Anyway, so, and then uh, for the coat, I have this. Uh, what's nice about this is it's a little big for me. Uh, it's a little, little long. It's a, <laughs> yeah, just, just a little long. Uh, I bought this from a cosplay website. This is supposed to be a replica of Crowley, David Tennant's character's um, coat from the TV show Good Omens. And as you can tell, it looks exactly not like it. I was very upset. I was not happy. They, the picture they showed is not what I got. So uh, if, if I can remember what site that was, I would re recommend everyone don't use that site uh, because what I got was just a normal looking sports coat doesn't have the three buttons on the side and it's, it's, a, it's a crappy sports coat and it's too long so I can't even wear it uh, so that that'll be the top for the bottom I just got some black jeans uh, and so we're gonna go from there so like I said I've already started oh another piece important piece of equipment you'll need uh, so you got PVC pipe uh, you're gonna need a PVC cutter uh, pipe cutter because this will come in very handy. It's well worth it. You don't want to have to get like a, a saw and try to saw it. No, that sucks. Get a PVC cutter. Very easy to use. You just basically open up, open up the blade like that. Put the blade in there. And then you just squeeze it until it cuts. Only put the PVC pipe in there, okay? Don't put anything else in there. You sickos. So, oh, uh, and then we need connector pieces. Okay, so I've got this. This is this this is a cross connector that will just sit right there. Uh, it's a it's a little large because it didn't actually have three quarter inch connectors, 
but I figured, you know what? I can just put that on there like that. And then it'll, then the other tubes will sit right in there. That'd be fine for now. Uh, this is, this is going to be the elbow. Arm will come down. Then I've got an elbow. So the elbows won't, won't be rigid like this. You know, they won't be 90 degrees. So Frankenstein is not going to stand up there like he's Cornholio or President Biden. So the, the arms can be out at natural angle. Plus, I can turn it so the arms can be up. So I might have like one arm just kind of nashy out there like that, while the other arm would be up like he's going, ah, ah, like he does in the movie. Uh, now, for the cool part, I have these. Check that out, huh? These are some Frankenstein gloves that I golf, golf, got off a shot from Etsy. Uh, if I remember to, I'll post a link below. And these things are absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're, they're molded with that auto claw grip. So all I gotta do is just stuff this up with some paper, kind of give it some, some form, and then it'll just sit right there on the PVC pipe. And like I said, I can, you know, angle the, uh, the arms up and down as needed to give Frankenstein kind of a little pose. Uh, yeah, th these things are absolutely great. They're, they're just, I was more, more than pleased uh, with these hands. They're, they're just so fantastic. The only gripe I have with them, of course, is that they are gray and the mask is green. So that's, you know, can't really do much about that. Uh, I did contact them, ask them if I can paint these, if I can use uh, like, like makeup on them. And they said that you can, but not to use grease paint based makeup. So basically all the makeup I got in my clown kit, not going to work. However, you can use water based makeup. And it just so happens that I have right here, tag body art makeup which is water based so uh, and i got a couple different shades of green and i've also this was given to me by my colleague and and uh, partner because he doesn't do face painting and this would he bought this for our other face painter who doesn't work for us anymore so i figured i could use it even though i already have my own nice paradise uh set of uh, face paints that i use it's all good you can never have too many face paints so I could maybe use that to at least try to try to match this as close as I can to the uh, to the trick or treat mask, and uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. Okay, this here is the frame. I've made it a little tall because Frankenstein, of course, is tall, but you're not going to see the bottom because this is going to go outside, and there's the uh, on my patio and there's a railing plus you're gonna be looking up so you're not gonna see the feet at all uh, I will probably spray paint that black just to help again just to hide it and I've got sandbags that I can put down to help hold it up and these pieces here I'll get some PVC glue because that can come apart I know from experience yeah this is very 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 similar to my uh, frame for my uh, bloom boards that I do I'm doing balloon animals. So I'm going to go ahead and put these pants on. These just old pair of beat up jeans. They're, they're not going to be the, the pants that I actually put on here. Uh, but they're just what I have available for right now. And then I'll put the shoulders and stuff on. And then the, the head and jacket. And we should be done. Okay, here it is. It's not 100% complete, but it's start. Um, I gotta fix that shoulder. He's looking a little hunchback there. I, I should wind up not having enough PVC pipe to make the arms. So tomorrow I'll get a five foot pole. I think that should be more than enough uh, for the two arms. But right now the, uh, the sleeves are empty. They're just hanging there. Uh, just got the hands balanced pretty much on the rails. 
Uh, I'll probably get some more plastic bags to, or paper to stuff the head, kind of fill it out a bit. But uh, all in all, I'm very happy with the way it came out. Uh, get some black jeans because right now this look a little, uh, a little weird. Uh, with Pakistan wearing blue jeans, but I or we'll go to the thrift store and get some long black slacks and. Then what I'll probably do as well to help pad it up a bit, because it does look a little flat, get uh, bubble wrap, get a roll of bubble wrap and wrap it around, you know, so, so wrap it around the, the poles and that will give uh, uh, some thickness to his legs. But all in all, I'm very happy the way it came out. Well, I terrified a couple of my neighbors already. The other thing too is I'm not gonna have my my circus lights up there. Well, they'll stay up there, but uh, I'm gonna move I'm gonna move him back a bit so he's not up against the rail. Uh, then I'm gonna make a backdrop, make it look like stone wall, and then probably put some of that on the sides as well. Uh, I'm not sure. You know. You know, I'm not going to do that side because you, you don't really see it unless you're one well, of my neighbors coming out from the other side there. So I'll do that wall and then I'll have another wall, false wall behind there. And uh, then I'll either want to get some LED rope lights or LED light strips to put them maybe along here or down at the bottom to cast light up on. In fact, I might get... I don't know, I think I might get two sets. Maybe even just put them here and here along the inside to cast uh, green light on one side and purple on the other. And then with the the orange flame lamps, uh, I think that'll look great. So yeah, tell me what you think. Because uh, I, I want to add a little bit more to it, but right now I'm kind of shooting a blank. <laughs> But I am happy with the way this came out so far. So, uh, yeah. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this might inspire you for your own Halloween decorations. Um, I'm still trying to think what else I can do for, for mine. But in the meantime, I'm going to call it a night. So remember, you can't take it with you. So get the gifts of life. Make sure you are an organ donor. And I'll see you down the road. Have fun. Thank you.